That looks good, that forehand. Come again. I know that looking smooth. Smooth. Not so smooth. <laughs> good. How many times did you play this week? Two. Two times? One, time. One time with the wall only. Nice. You're still going on the wall. I'm proud of you. I like the wall. The wall is fantastic. Good music. Oh, you play with music? No, I don't recommend. No? No. You know why I don't recommend I music? This is so funny. Like when I used to play college tennis, uh, some teams would um, have music during practice and I always hated that. And our coach thankfully never used music and I would get so distracted when we go, would go uh, to away matches and would warm up and they would blast music. Here's why I don't like music for tennis because tennis is such an intuitive game. When you're listening to music, you get distracted. You start thinking about the music Yes, it can be aspirational sometimes, listening to music, but it doesn't really work for tennis. In tennis, you really got to concentrate, you got to focus, you know? That's why everybody has to be quiet. For example, in the stands when players play, it's a sport where you really have to concentrate and focus, and you don't want noise coming in from the outside. Therefore, next time, do not use headphones when you're playing on the wall, okay? Good. Better. Come on. Better. Whoa, what a whipper. Better. Come on. Oh la la. Oh my goodness, these are rip shots. Whoa. Better. Better on a beautiful forehand. Maybe the best forehand of your life. But Nick, I have a question about like direction. When Go ahead. When the ball is going across the court, sometimes yeah. I feel like the opponent is standing and we are rallying and yeah. I want it to be easy for the, for the partner. Yeah. So when I do it, the ball is not going the way I want all the time. And especially if he is like, or she is outside on that corner. Okay, I got it you. Mean, does it mean I have to turn my body a little bit more away? So the sense, so I finish not in the middle. Okay, that's a really, really good question. So, you know, you like right now at this stage of your game, and when you're playing with other people, are you rallying like mostly through the middle? Yes. Okay. But I want to be able to, like when the person went this way, I want it to be easy for him and return the ball to the close proximity where he is. Right, so here's the deal with uh, directional control. If you rally with someone through the middle and you're hitting it right to that person, you actually are working on directional control. So it's not so easy to get the ball right down the center every time. So if you master that skill, if you can hit the ball right down the center, that means that you can hit it anywhere in the court. That's number one. Okay, so don't worry that you're rallying uh, through the middle of the court. You are working on directional control by doing that. Now, you notice how sometimes when we rally, when we do drills, I will stand in the corners and I'll have you hit to me. So I did that very early on. I was very sneaky about that. This was maybe our third or fourth session I would already start sneaking I didn't tell you anything right I would just slide to the corner and you would start hitting to me and that's where you learned how to let's say aim because here's the problem with aiming if you are literally aiming with the racket towards the target you're doing yourself a big disservice because you're slowing down at the moment of contact and you're steering the ball pushing it guiding it towards the target and what you do want to do instead is make a small change in the angle of the racket face at the moment of contact. So the fascinating thing about tennis is that this angle of the racket face change is so minuscule that you do this movement intuitively and you already know how to do it. You are not aware that you know how to do it, but you already know how to aim intuitively and we learned that very early on. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Okay, and I'm going to prove to you now that you already know how to aim. So these I want you to hit right through the middle of the court, down the center. Here we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now go to the left, which is basically cross court. I want you to hit your forehand to the left. Okay? Good. Another one. Okay, now hit your forehand to the right, which is inside out. You're going to hit the forehand to the right. Here we go. Good. Okay, it's okay if you miss. I'm going to hit it to the right. All right, now how did you do that? You have no idea, yes, right? I'm brilliant. You're brilliant? Yes. 
<laughs> you are brilliant, yes. for sure. You are brilliant, but you have no idea. In other words, there was no conscious changing in the angle of the racket face of contact. You didn't think of anything. You just hit the ball. I told you where to go, and you just went there. I feel like you tricked me. I didn't now trick I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> well, like I told you, the way directional control works is the racket angle of the racket face of contact. So if I hold my racket like this, if it's like, let's say, aligned with the baseline like this, it's completely parallel to the baseline. If you hit that ball, it's going to go right down the middle. Right. Now, we're assuming that we're going to have the same finish on all strokes. Okay? If we turn the racket just slightly over this way, look, just yeah. a slight angle change, now that ball it's going to go cross court because over the length of the court, the angle doesn't have to be that big. Yeah. So we're talking about a small little change. So the important thing is though your question, when you ask me, how do I aim? It's just, just to tell yourself where you're going to go and do not do what most rec players do is by literally aiming. Let me show you. So most players will aim by going towards the target with the, with the racket. So when they go cross court, they will go cross court with the racket. Down the middle, they will go down the middle with the racket, and inside out, they will go towards the target with the racket. So they're literally steering the ball towards the target. And what that is, it's an inferior forehand because you're losing a lot of acceleration. You're slowing down the moment of contact, and you're losing a lot of speed because of that. So what you should do instead is what you just demonstrated here is by simply telling yourself, I'm going to hit the forehand down the middle, cross court inside out, and just do it because you already know how to do it, and don't change a single thing. Anna, so. Are you more clear now on how to aim in tennis? Yeah. You're not I think so. you're not concerned about it anymore. No. You don't be concerned. Just trust in your guts. Trust in your guts. <laughs> you already know how to do it, and your concern initially was like uh, hitting it right to the person. Sometimes you might not be able to hit it to them because of other technical flaws. It's not the fact that you can't aim. Maybe you're hitting the ball late. Your timing is off. Maybe you're you're doing a miss hit. You're moving your wrist at contact. Could be many different things, but you should definitely not concern yourself with. Uh, uh, trying to aim and spend any thoughts about that at all. Okay. I just decided I just want to hit inside of the court and let them run around. Yeah, and there's absolutely nothing. <laughs> <Don't work out. laughs> well, listen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with hitting right to the person down the middle. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is going to train you to uh, direct the balls to other parts of the court as well. The middle is my bread and butter anyway. The mid there's nothing wrong with the middle. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how the pros warm up? Have you ever been to a tournament? Yes. Professional tournament where in Delray, right? Yes. If you see how they warm up, they warm up down the middle. Yeah. yeah. And one thing you can do, which is good, is like you go half court. So you can go from like from here to here. So have your partner stand over there on that side and you guys rally cross court. Mm -hmm. That's something you can do, you know, yeah. as an addition to that. Okay, and I'm going to test you now, see if you know how to aim with the incoming ball. Go cross court. Okay, cross court again. Cross court again. Get a little more angle on it. All right. Now go down the line. Down the line again. All right. Hit it cross court. You got a little too jammed there. Cross court again. And match point. Your choice. You call it. Where are you going? Cross court. Cross court. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> It's okay. Listen, when I was giving you a little bit of pressure there, that's why your forehand was a little bit tight. That's normal. But uh, see how easy aiming is? You already know how to do it. Therefore, don't worry about it. Good job.